For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has traveled alone through the vast, silent void beyond our solar system. It is an aging spacecraft that is traveling farther than any other object created by humans in history, beyond where any probe has ever dared to go. For a long time, it was considered a ghost ship of the cosmos, silently carrying the hopes, data, and memories of a distant Earth. Scientists expected nothing more than a slow decline in signals as its systems aged and its energy depleted. But just when they thought Voyager 1 had entered its final chapter, something truly unprecedented happened. The spacecraft changed course. Not in response to a command from Earth, nor due to a mechanical failure, but apparently of its own accord. And even more disturbing, days before this change in trajectory, Voyager 1 detected a low-frequency hum, a sound with no identifiable source, no match in NASA's records, and no scientific explanation. And now, with its antenna still pointing toward Earth, Voyager appears to be returning, or being pulled back. What did it find in the darkness? What did it see that made it turn around? To understand how extraordinary this moment is, we have to go back to the beginning. In 1977, NASA launched two space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Designed to take advantage of a planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years, the mission aimed to make a grand tour of the outer planets using the gravitational slingshot. Effect of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune to propel the probes deeper into the solar system. Voyager 1 was tasked with flying by Jupiter and Saturn, capturing the first close-up images of their moons and rings. The images it sent back in the late 1970s and early 1980s redefined planetary science, erupting volcanoes on Io, complex structures in Saturn's rings, the mysterious haze of Titan, and much more. But once it completed its planetary mission, Voyager 1 kept going. It passed beyond Pluto's orbit, beyond the heliosphere, and entered interstellar space, a region never before touched by human technology. Year after year, it sent back less data, but it remained steadfast in its purpose, to keep exploring, even as its systems grew colder and weaker, even as sunlight became more of a memory than a presence. For decades, Voyager 1 transmitted signals back to Earth, mostly weak and delayed packets of data about plasma density, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. But one quiet day, in its 46th year in space, its instruments recorded something they had never detected before, a faint, steady hum buried in the plasma wave frequencies. At first, scientists thought it was interference, or a glitch in the ancient instruments. But when the same reading appeared repeatedly and was confirmed by multiple antennas in the deep space network, concerns grew. The sound didn't resemble any known space phenomenon. It wasn't cosmic background radiation. It wasn't a solar flare. It didn't come from any direction they could triangulate. Even more unsettling, it seemed to fluctuate at perfect mathematical intervals, like a message that wasn't meant to be heard, but recorded. For weeks, engineers and astrophysicists pored over the data, comparing it to every known cosmic event, but no explanation emerged. Then, without warning, Voyager 1 began a subtle but measurable change in its trajectory, a deviation that no one at NASA had ordered. And immediately, the question changed from, what did we hear? to, who or what hurt us? Voyager 1 is powered by an aging radioisotope thermoelectric generator and its maneuverability is limited to small adjustments with thrusters that hadn't been used in years. But the telemetry confirmed it. The spacecraft had changed its orientation, slightly but steadily, as if trying to see better or align itself with something in deep space. Engineers rushed to investigate whether this was pre-programmed backup behavior, perhaps an old line of code that was triggered by a sensor anomaly. But the logs showed no such command. Even more puzzling was the fact that this change in course oriented Voyager's camera system, which had been turned off since the famous pale blue dot image in 1990, toward a direction where no celestial objects are known to exist. The area in question has no visible stars, 
no catalogued galaxies, and no recorded gravitational anomalies. So, why point there? What did Voyager see on its instruments? Why did it reorient itself with such precision? More than 24 billion kilometers from Earth, there is no autopilot, no corrections, no help. And yet, Voyager made a decision. Or so it seems. What followed in the weeks that followed was even more disturbing. Voyager 1's transmissions began to arrive with subtle alterations, small distortions in the timing, and frequency of the signal that, when analyzed in more detail, revealed patterns embedded in the data transmission. These were not transmission errors. They were intentional modulations, repeated in multiple packets, forming complex sequences similar to binary logic and harmonic resonance. JPL scientists consulted cryptographers, artificial intelligence experts, and linguists. Some suggested that these patterns could represent a form of response or acknowledgement, as if Voyager was not only observing something, but being observed in turn. The idea that the signal could be a two-way communication, one that began nearly five decades ago with the launch of the Golden Record, has raised unsettling possibilities. Could Voyager have encountered an intelligence that does not emit signals in our frequency bands, but uses gravitational waves, magnetic distortions, or some unknown means to communicate? And if so, have they detected us yet? After the course correction and signal distortions, closed-door meetings began. At the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, a select team of physicists, engineers, and project veterans was convened to review the anomaly. What was initially considered a minor deviation quickly turned into an intense debate. Some argued that it was the last gasp of a dying spacecraft, a final error, a hardware failure. But others, observing the consistency of the altered signal and the precision of the directional change, suggested something far more alarming. That Voyager 1 might have encountered an unknown gravitational or electromagnetic phenomenon. Or worse, that it was responding to something unnatural. With each new batch of data received, the patterns became harder to ignore. Geometric proportions, symmetrical intervals, and harmonic feedback suggesting a deliberate structure, as if something were reflecting or mimicking the probe's activity. The JPL team, divided between skepticism and amazement, asked themselves a question for which no space agency is prepared. What do we do if this isn't random? As rumors reached the scientific community, independent analyses emerged from universities and observatories around the world. Several prominent physicists proposed a radical theory that Voyager 1 could have entered a field of interaction with dark matter or even grazed a region of space-time distortion. But one article in particular caused widespread unease. A group of researchers in artificial intelligence used pattern recognition software to analyze the modified signal and found that it seemed to mirror aspects of the Arecibo message, the binary radio transmission that humanity sent into space in 1974. Some of the sequences Voyager was now receiving showed mathematical overlaps with that message, raising the unsettling possibility that some form of intelligence had received our signal and was now responding, using Voyager as a repeater. Was this a coincidence born of cosmic noise or a cosmic response? When Voyager 1 was launched, Carl Sagan and a small team placed one of humanity's most iconic artifacts on board, the Golden Record, a gold-plated copper disc with greetings in 55 languages, music from various cultures, and scientific diagrams to introduce Earth and its people to any form of life that might find it. Most saw it as a symbolic gesture, more romantic than practical. But now, with Voyager showing signs of deviation and interaction, attention is returning to that disk. Some speculate that the information may have been decoded or interpreted by something close to the probe's trajectory. After all, the diagrams include detailed maps of Earth's location relative to known pulsars. If something, or someone, understood it, then Voyager 1 is not just a relic, it is a beacon and it has been carrying our coordinates for nearly half a century. If that beacon was heard, the implications are immense. Not just scientific, 
but also for the future of our security and existence. As more layers of data are decoded and the signal continues to evolve, internal NASA documents suggest a quiet change in protocol. Project members have been instructed to avoid speculation about unnatural causes in official communications and to classify the event as a data anomaly. But off the record, some admit to being deeply disturbed. Because what Voyager appears to be experiencing does not fit with any known astrophysical behavior. It behaves like an interaction. It reflects as if it were intelligence, and it adapts as if it were conscious. Fear is growing, not just about what it is, but about what it means. If a machine floating through the most isolated place in the known universe has encountered a presence, a field, or a signal that responds to its movements, then we are faced with a question we have never had to. Ask before, not what is out there, but has something been watching us all this time? Voyager 1 was never designed to last this long. It wasn't built to whisper among the stars for half a century, let alone make contact. But that's exactly what it may have done. What began as a mission to explore the outer planets has become a story of cosmic proportions, a moment when science touches the boundaries of philosophy and wonder gives way to unease. This spacecraft, floating silently more than 24 billion kilometers from home, may have found something, or perhaps something found it. The distortions in the signal, the impossible change of course, the reflected patterns, the echo that does not belong to us. Everything points to a terrifying possibility. Voyager 1 may have made the first real contact, not with intelligent life as we imagine it, but with something else, something immense, something structured, something that is watching us. If this is the final chapter of Voyager's journey, then it does not end in silence. It ends with a question loud enough to shake the foundations of everything we think we know. What if we are no longer the observers, but the observed? Now it's your turn. Do you think Voyager 1 really found something unnatural? Is this the beginning of a new era in space exploration? Or the final act of a story we were never meant to hear? Tell us what you think in the comments. And if this story left you questioning everything, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, and share this video with someone who still believes there is magic out there. Real magic. Disturbing. Beautiful. Because in the end, Voyager didn't just send us data, it sent us a message. And maybe, just maybe, we're not the only ones listening anymore.